I'm here with Lauren Reddington from the Shippensburg University Indoor Women's Track Team. Which one do you prefer, running or jumping? Um, I don't really have a preference. I, uh, I like all of them. They all have different aspects that I enjoy. And so I like competing in all three of them. They, I don't know. I don't really have a favorite. Mm -hmm. How do you balance the preparation between running and jumping? Well, I do running and jumping all the time at all the meets and, and mm -hmm. practices and stuff, so I'm pretty used to going from one event to another, you know, kicking off my jumping spikes and putting on my track ones to go do the 60, so. What is your competition like this weekend? Um, competition's always tough, especially at PSACs, and so we just try to get out there and do our best, and it takes the whole team to come together to win a championship. I'm here with Lindsay Bingaman. What was the transition like to um, doing the 800 meter this year? Um, it was kind of came out of the blue. I didn't really expect this season to be running the 800, but it was actually a lot of fun. I really enjoyed running it, and my roommate Amanda Radabaugh has helped me get through it and pushed me. So I really like it a lot. How is it different from the events you've ran over the past few years? I'm used to running the 400. That's been my main event um, ever since middle school. So, I mean, it's definitely a lot different. You have to pace yourself. I'm not used to pacing myself in the 400. I just kind of go out there and run as hard as I can for almost the entire race if I can. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's just different because I have to learn how to pace myself. But I've gotten used to it. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be number one in the 4x400 relay? It's pretty awesome. Our whole relay, there's a lot of fast girls, and I'm excited to get out there at PSAX and try to, we should definitely be able to get first. Um, it's exciting. How has the team prepared itself for the relay this weekend? We've ran it several times, and everyone has been running 400s, 800s, getting ready for it, um, speed work at practice, long runs. Um, and we just try to get our handoffs. That's the like one of the most important things is just keeping the baton going as fast as possible. And I'm excited to see how fast we can go this weekend. Mm -hmm. How will the championships this weekend be different? Um, well, definitely running the eight is going to be a lot different. I'm used to only running the 400 and 4x4. Four four, so throwing that event in there is going to be new to me. And um, for our whole team, we lost some girls last year, definitely. But we had a lot of fast girls come in. so. I think we'll still be right up there where we were before. I'm here with Amanda Radabal. How did you prep for this weekend's 800 meter? Um, I feel like we start training like our first, our first, our first practice, and um, we do that all year for this meet specifically. So I feel like we've been um, training all year and just doing like longer runs and um, mixing that with doing like speed work as well as like lifting programs and stuff that we've been doing all season. I feel like it won't be that much different because Coach um, focuses on taking us to like top meets with um, Division I schools a lot. So we have a lot of the same competition with a lot of good competitors that will help us run fast and jump far and throw far. Mm -hmm. You're also on the 4x4 relay team. How does it feel to be ranked number one in that? Um, it's exciting. I feel like we um, focus on the 4x4 a lot and we've had um, a lot of years where we have gotten close to getting to nationals, and I feel like if we um, try really hard this weekend and um, we're, it all comes together, we could possibly um, make it to nationals in the 4x4, which is one of our goals that we've had for many years now. Welcome back to the SHIP Sports Report. We're here with head coach Dave Osanich of the Shippensburg University women's indoor track and field team. And as we get ready for the conference championships this weekend, coach, one of the things we've talked about it a little bit with both squads, but you have a lot of depth on this women's squad. Uh, talent really all around, a lot of strong performances. You take a look at the performance list, you see a lot of names, but that depth is really going to help out, I think. 
Yeah, uh, Bill, it definitely helps having a well-rounded team. Uh, we really stress that uh, with both our men's and women's programs. Uh, you want to have some depth in every event uh, to have a chance to win. Um, so, you know, that's, that's how we design the programs. We don't want to be really good in one area because uh, if you want to win championships, you've got to be a well-rounded team just like in any, any sport. Now, we take a look at the women's squad that you have. Um, there are a lot of strong seniors, some of which we've already talked to in this broadcast, but at the same time, you really have a strong young group of p talent, a lot of freshmen that have made an impact this year for you. Talk about what that dynamic's like for your team this year. Sure. Yeah, we, we, we lost a lot of great student athletes last year, so we knew that we needed to bring in some young, fresh talent that was going to help us. Uh, and they have, and they've stepped up, and uh, it's been a real nice compliment to the upper class when we still have. Uh, and they've done a great job of teaching them how to do things the right way to prepare for the championship. Uh, but it, is, it should be an interesting blend of, of young and old uh, from both ends. Uh, Amanda Rudabaugh has been a great leader. Uh, Lindsay Bigaman, who you interviewed earlier, has done a phenomenal job of transitioning from a whole new event and excelling to help kind of fill the, fill the gaps a little bit. Uh, and uh, the young talent has, has really come along. I'm very pleased with what I'm seeing right now. Now, this is a women's team as well that, uh, based on the last two years, is a team that has the potential to win its third consecutive PSAC Indoor Championship. But again, it takes a complete effort to come away with that victory when all said and done because of the talent and the strength of this league. What is it going to take for Shippensburg to come away this weekend with a potential championship? Well, we're going to need everybody to bring their A game. Uh, the room for error is not very large on the women's side. Uh, we need a lot of the, our top tier student athletes to come through. But really, like I said in the men's interview, you, you know, we place eight. So those sixth, seventh, and eighth places really play a factor in a championship. So if you're on the performance list and you're 10th or 12th, it's time to step up and get into that top eight and really help out the team win a championship. Super. Thank you very much. Best of luck to you this weekend. Thanks, Bill. That'll be it for this edition of the SHIP Sports Report. For more information on all 20 of Shippensburg University's intercollegiate athletic teams, please visit us on the Internet at www.shipraiders.com. Thanks for tuning in.